hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so remember i told you that in our next video we'll be looking at group b assignment and here we are the first question is in a cooling rate comparison of two different liquid the following value will obtain now time in minutes is 0. 0, 0.0 water when time was 0. 0.0 is 80.0 and oil is 80.0 now for when time was 1 water is 78.5 oil is 76.5 six so that's how you take your reading to when the time was 15 minutes we have water to be 64.0 and we have the oil to be 58.1 <coughs> what's the graph of theta in degree celsius against time in minutes using same axis which one cools faster water or oil and why from your graph determine the time interval change in time and change in water for the oil and water respectively to cool from 75 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. How is that again? Now the first thing you do here, this is your graph sheet. The first thing you do here is to do what? You tie to your graph. How do I tie to my graph? A graph of degree in Celsius against time in minutes. Let me check if this is correct. Yeah, this is what the social plot again, so it's very correct. Looking at this guy, anytime you are giving a temperature graph to plot, know that a temperature graph is always a parabola graph or hyperbola. What do I mean? This is what I mean. We are giving a temperature graph. Yeah, meant the nature of that graph will be like this: parabola or hyperbola. That means it's a curve graph. Is a curve graph it must not be straight why temperature rises and fall so it's a curve graph so let's draw our vertical axis and horizontal axis so for here this my vertical axis this is my vertical axis and this is my horizontal axis What is the title of my vertical axis? Theta in degree Celsius against what? Time against time in mit in minutes. Now pick my scale. My scale is let two centimeter represent ten degree Celsius at theta degree Celsius and axis and let one centimeter represent one centimeter represent one meter at T in meter axis so this is my origin 0, 0.0 so that means with this my scale, I'll say every two centimeter in our last video, I took time to explain these boxes. So I'll say every two centimeter represents 10 degrees Celsius. Why are we using 10? Because looking at our looking at our reading here is large, very large. So we need to use a big scale so that it will contain this graph. So let me say for every two centimeter, this is the first two centimeter, I'll have what 10 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, 60, 70, 80 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees. So let me stop at 90. Since the highest is doing is 80. So let's scale the horizontal axis. So I say let's one centimeter 
one centimeter represents one minute so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen my highest here is 15 15 is my highest so I'll stop at 15 or 16 it's still okay now it's a curve graph so anything we are doing we are going to draw it in a curve pattern so I start with my reading now when it was at zero minutes for water I was 80 so zero the time zero this is zero this is zero the time so it was at 80 one this one it was at 78 the next time will be 78 so that's how you do two when it was at two you have two 77 77 76 75 75 74 you're missing every small small line that you get your your gradient so so once you're done once you're done with this, this you pick a root a broom not ruler Roller will give you a straight side. Use a broomstick. Something like this. A broomstick. Just one. Not two. You place it on your graph. You place it on your graph. Once you read it till 15. Let me assume 15 might be somewhere here. Once you read it till 15. You place it. And you draw a curve. Don't repeat it, if not, to give you double line, double gradient. So you draw it just once. This is perfect. This is perfect. You'll do the same thing with oil, but you are going to identify it. This is for water. And the next one you'll be drawing will be for oil. So at the end of everything, this is how your graph will look like. Once C from the graph, determine the time interval of T0, that's T for water and T for oil, for both oil and water respectively, to cool from 75 degree Celsius to 65 degree Celsius. So let's look at that guy. Now, let's, let's speak for water. For water, when it was at 75, we'll trace this 75. You can see this 70, this 80. 75 i'm answering number one c number one b need to do with explanation so it's already in the solution manual this 70 this 80 so the middle the bold line here remember it's two centimeter represents then the bold line here is 75 so i'm going to trace it wherever i eat the gradient line i'll stop there so this is where it's hitting the gradient line so i'll trace it down hope you are following i'll trace it down you might not see because it's a blue pen i'll trace it down down and i'm having four so when is that when is that 75 when is that 75 when is that 75 degree my minute here was what my minute is equal to what four four minutes four minutes now when is that when is that 65 you trace 65 this 65 that means you need to draw this thing down Trace 65. 65 is this. Once you read here, you have draw it down. Hope you understand. You can see it from my. It's nine. So, at 65 degree, is equal to nine minutes. So therefore, nine minus four will give you five minutes. Your range is from. 4 to 7. Actually, if you check my solution manual, the range I got 6.6 .6 minutes. Oh, yeah, I'm having 5 minutes. You just need to understand it. Very important. So, the same application with the oil process. <laughs> Please don't write on your graph. Very important. Now, that's how to get question 1C. Now, let's look at the second graph. Number three, 
In an experiment to compare the temperature curve between two liquids, the following data we obtain. Now for water and for liquid, we have different time. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now the following temperature curve we obtain. For one, we have 70, 71, that's for water. 72, 73, 74, 75.5, 76.0, 77.5, 80. Different with the one of liquid. Now we are going to plot a graph similar to that. A graph of theta against time in minutes for water and liquid. Let's scale this graph. Scale. Let two centimeter represent ten degrees Celsius at degree Celsius axis. axis. Let one centimeter represent one minute at t in minute axis so that's the suitable square we'll be using for plotting this graph let's draw our axis line so for here we have we have theta and here we have here we have time now it's similar to the first it's very similar to the first practical, the first question we did in this video. Now it will be 10, 20, 30, every 2 cm, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, let's stop at 100, 100. At the time it will be given us 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's stop at twelve. Since the time here is stopping at nine. So let's look at this table to plot this graph. For water, when my time is at one, my theta is what? Seventy. When my time is at two, my theta is Seventy-one. And my time is at three. Seventy-two. Each of those small boxes are seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty. So the next one is seventy-three. For four, four, seventy-three. For five, seventy-four. For six, seventy-five point five. For seven, for seven, seventy-six, for eight, seventy-seven point five, for nine, eighty. So you can see that the graph is passing, is a curve graph passing through the intercept of the vertical axis. So let me draw this once like this. So let's notify this as water you do the same process for liquid you do the same pr process for liquid you put it for liquid at the end of it this is how your graph will look like so the next question in number three plot a graph of theta against time for water and liquid using the same axis we just did that the other question is find the slope of w for water and L for liquid at any temperature at any temperature now how do you get this loop very very easy I'll pick a point that if we intersect with the gradient line or draw it and I'll divide this by whatever I'm having as at the horizontal axis what am I trying to say remember they say at any temperature so I can decide to pick this one 75 I'll do a dot chain line 
do a chain line let me assume it's stopping here yeah, this is where it's stopping this is where it's intersecting with the gradient line with the temperature curve i'll draw it down i'll draw it down so i have to find a gradient when plotting this graph of a curve graph so therefore change in theta for all over change in time for this is for water so this will be giving us 75 divided by divided by 6.4 6.4 our answer will be 11.7 so you do the same process for liquid and get the slope or the gradients so we move to the next graph which is number seven the following reading were obtained in a cooling experiment room temperature 30 degree celsius now the social feeling the complete table plot a graph of l which is the mean here you get the mean of l before you plot against one all over f which is in second recall that c is equal to one all over f which is in second deduce the velocity let's dive in now how do i fill in this table one divided by 341.0 will give us 0 0.0029 so what are you going to do you approximate that guy or you put it in standard form so it will be 2.9 times 10 raised to power minus 3 5.0 plus 24.5 plus 24.5 is equal to you have your answer divided by 3 you have the mean here you apply that in everything here at the end of everything you do this is how your results will look like so let's continue now you have to plot a graph of what l against one over f and this graph can be a little bit confusing let's dive in as we plot this graph Seven. A graph of L in centimeter against one all over F in second. So this is how my graph will be. Now the equation for this graph, you know, every graph must have an equation. The equation for this graph is giving us which you need to research but but i'm happy you're watching this video so therefore l is equal to v all over 4f minus c this is the equation for plotting this graph now let me see how the nature of the graph will look like please don't write on your graph so therefore my l is equal to it has a graph of what l against what one all over f so i'm bringing out my one all over f this will be v all over four dot one all over f you see this is the same thing as this minus c can we say this is looking like y is equal to m x minus c yes it's looking like that so we can get how this graph will look like so this graph will look like this passing through the negative intercepts 